certainly true that we don't have an AGI now. We don't have a baby AGI now, right? I mean, we have quite impressive AI systems that are quite cool and do some amazingly impressive and very useful things. We don't have a system that can generalize robustly beyond its experience in programming. We don't have a system that can make creative, imaginative leaps beyond its experience like a person can. So we we don't have it whatever this or that marketing department may tell you, right? On the other hand, the nature of exponential progress is that you're doing more each year than was happening the previous year, right? And I think looking at things in that light, I think 2029 plus or minus a few years is quite viable. I mean, I'm hoping to get there a few years ahead of that. And I think that getting the human level AGI by, say, 2026 or seven is not beyond the pale. I mean, I think if our OpenCog Hyperon project goes maximally well and nothing screws up and funding lines up and our, our AGI chip hardware project lines up and isn't stalled, like if everything comes together well, we could beat Ray's deadline by a couple of years. You know, Ray believed that you have human level AGI in 2029 and still believes, and then a singularity in 2045. This is where I disagree with him. I don't think there's going to be a 16 year gap between. I think once you get to human level AGI, it can be just a few years to superhuman AGI because you, you got a machine that can rewrite its own code and rebuild its own hardware.